Today we're talking all about one of my favorite baby products, which is honestly quite expensive, but I will say it was life changing for the newborn stage. And I'm going to show you how you can get it for basically free. Hey guys, I'm Marissa and welcome back to my channel. I'm a first time mom with my son, Peter, who is eight months old and I love all things motherhood and budgeting. So here on my channel, I talk a lot about both of those. So if you wanna learn more about budgeting and saving money, and especially as it relates to motherhood, then scroll down and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any new videos. So today I wanted to talk all about my experience with the snoo and I'm just going to thank Dr. Harvey Karp for making the snoo right now. I love the snoo. But let's quickly talk about some pros and cons to the snoo and then talk about that hefty price tag and ways that you can actually save money on it and even get it for free. And yes, I promise it's legit and not free by like stealing it. So I'll go ahead and leave a link to this new in the description box below so you can check it out and browse their site a little bit more. So if you're watching this video, I'm pretty sure you know what the snoo is, but if you don't, the snoo is a smart bassinet. It was specially made to help babies sleep one to two hours longer at night by helping get babies back to sleep. So the way that it works is you put the baby into the snoo and you turn on the machine and it starts making some light rocking motion for your baby to help soothe them. And then it also has like a sound machine and it has like constant noise going. But the snoo can also detect if your baby is crying or fussing and it will then kick on higher and do a quicker rocking motion and it will even turn up the sound. And both of these things can help soothe a baby and get them back to sleep. Now, I remember when I was pregnant, I actually saw the snoo and saw that it retailed for almost $1,400 and you can only use it for six months. So I'm sitting down to edit this video and I just checked on the snoo's website and it looks like they just increased the price of the snoo from $13.95 to $14.95. So I just wanna let you know it's now closer to $1,500 and I'm doing some cost breakdown here in regards to the $1,400 price, but please just understand the overall concept, even if it is $1,500. So sorry about that. And I was like, there is no way I'd spend $1,400 on something that I'd only use for six months. But then I had a baby myself and we were not getting very much sleep. It was very difficult. And my baby only wanted to sleep when he was being held, which meant that I didn't really get to sleep because I had to hold him. And it was when he was about eight weeks old that we were doing this that I was sitting in bed holding him in the middle of the night because he wouldn't sleep unless he was being held. And I was sitting there dozing off and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so dangerous that I'm like about to fall asleep and my baby's in my arms. And I was like, we need to do something about this. So we looked into getting the snoo. They actually have a rental option, which I'll go in depth about more here soon. So we decided to try it out by renting it. And when the snoo arrived at our house and we tried it out for our son, he immediately started sleeping so much better. And at that point we were like, okay, we just gotta buy this thing because we're gonna use it for having multiple children. And also this is something that I'll talk about more here in the financial aspect. But overall, we love the snoo. We used it up to about six months, which is what the snoo is used for. And here are some of the additional things that I loved about it. I think the biggest thing is that it gets baby back to sleep. Like there were many times where Peter would be sleeping right next to us and then he'd cry out and the snoo would just do its thing and it would get him back to sleep, which meant that I didn't have to get up and rock him or like, you know, do whatever to get him back to sleep. Like it helped him to fall back, which also means that as a parent, you get to sleep more. Mm -hmm. The other thing I love about the snoo is their swaddles. Their swaddles clip into the snoo. It has like these wings on it and they clip in so that your baby stays on his back. And that was also re really reassuring for me to know that like he wasn't going to just roll over in the night or anything. The fact that he was clipped into the snoo like on his back made me feel a lot better. The snoo swaddles also have some buttons at like the shoulder so you eventually can do swaddle with arms out which we moved Peter to when he was at the time when we should swaddle with arms out. But still it was nice you could still clip him in knowing that he wasn't going to roll over in the night. The other great thing to the snoo is that it has a weaning mode. I've heard a lot of people be like well doesn't your baby get addicted to the thing? But honestly it was a super easy transition for us to move from the snoo to the crib. So the snoo has a weaning mode which you can easily turn on with the app and basically it just means that it's no longer doing its 
regular rocking motion at like a baseline rocking and instead it's just still but still if the snoo hears the baby crying then it will kick on and then start doing motion so we did that for a bit and then we actually moved it to a weaning mode and then locked it on baseline so that at the very end of his time in it it was simply just a fancy sound machine it was only making noise and if he cried out it wasn't making any sort of motion at all and with that we found it really easy to transition to the crib by turning on this weaning mode and then we had the snoo in his room for a little bit and then we transitioned him fully to the crib without any sort of issue now while i do love the snoo so much there are a couple cons to it i think the first being the price obviously when you see that it's fourteen hundred dollars you think that that's absolutely ridiculous and i totally get that the other thing is that it doesn't like come up to your bed so during peter's like new newborn stage we used a friend's halo bassinet and i really liked it for the fact that you could have the bassinet like right up to your bed and if i needed to get him like it was such such easy access which was especially nice when you're recovering from birthing your baby anyway i felt like it was like so hard to get in and out of bed so that was really nice having the halo and that is the like the only downside i think to the snoo is because it was a lot lower and you can't like really adjust the height and you couldn't you know pull it in and out towards you from the bed and it's only good for six months so which is why i felt like the price wasn't going to be worth it but as we get into the finance part now you'll know that it is definitely worth it so here's the cost breakdown and ultimately why we decided to purchase the snoo you can use the snoo for up to six months so with the price tag of 13.95 that comes to seven dollars and 75 cents per night but the great thing is that when you buy the snoo you obviously can have it for as long as you want so if you end up having two kids and you use it for six months for each that would come out to like 388 per night or even for three kids that would be 258 per night so i think when you look at it as this per night cost it seems a lot more reasonable because you're gonna spend that much on a coffee every day anyway and i had to think to myself is my sleep worth a few dollars a night yeah yeah it is but there are many ways that you can save on this cost for the snoo. The first being renting. So you can actually rent the snoo. This is only available in the United States, but it's an option that we initially started with because we weren't sure how long we wanted the snoo or if we were going to like it. So you can rent the snoo for $129 each month, but there are also some additional costs to renting like a cleaning fee and the cost to ship the snoo back. So after six months of use with the, all of these additional fees, it would come to $925 for six months of use or about $5.13 each night. So as you can see straight up, if you plan to have two children, then it's worth it to buy instead of rent because of that cost per night. The next way that you can save money on the snoo is by shopping a sale. Happiest Baby is the company that makes the snoo and they sometimes will do a sale. One of their most popular ones is Black Friday. They typically do a sale and then they actually did one during the summer, which I was able to take advantage of when I bought the snoo and was able to save a lot of money that way. We actually spent a little less than $1,000 on the snoo because of the sale. They also offer continuous discounts for special groups of people. They do offer a military discount. So if you're a military family, you can get the snoo for a generous discount and i believe that they also offer a discount for nurses so if you fall into any of those categories definitely check and see what your options are for getting the snoo at a discount another way to save on the snoo is by using your registry completion coupon so the snoo is actually also available on amazon and you can add it to your amazon baby registry before you have the baby and the awesome thing about having an amazon baby registry is that you get a completion coupon which is 15 percent that you can use on any Anything else remaining on your registry so you can use this coupon on the snoo and get 15% off the cost of the snoo which is awesome another huge way that you can save on the snoo is by buying it used I've seen a few of them available on Facebook marketplace every once in a while but they get snatched up so quickly but I've seen them for sale around 800 to like 850 on Facebook marketplace this obviously though includes the risk of buying something used from someone who you don't know so that definitely is something to look into and consider if you decide to buy used and really one of the best ways that cuts down the cost on the snoo is by selling it when you're done 
Like I said, you can find these for sale on Facebook Marketplace for around 800 to 850. So if you buy this new for 1400 new and you sell it for 800 six months later when you're done, then you really only spent a total of $600. And that would come to about $3.30 ish cents per night if you decide to go that route. Or you could get it for basically free by buying used and then selling it on Facebook Marketplace again when you're done. I even had a friend who ended up buying this new when it was on sale and then she was able to sell it when her son was done using it and she actually made money on the deal. So like I said, we decided to buy this new after renting it for one month because we wanted to use it for other children. We plan to have two to three children. But the other awesome thing that we thought of with buying is that we wanna be able to loan this new out to friends who can use it when we aren't. So it's actually currently being used by a sweet baby boy my, one of my friends had her baby in November which ended up being like six months after Peter was born so as soon as Peter was done with it we gave it to my friend and he is just snoozing away in the snoo and I love that we're able to do that for our friends because the snoo has been amazing for us and I definitely want to pass on the snoo love to those friends so all that to say we absolutely love the snoo and while I was very hesitant at first at spending $1,400 on something that I was only going to use for six months, and when we broke down the cost, I realized that my sleep was worth a few dollars a night, and I'm also encouraged to know that we could probably just sell it when we're done and recoup a lot of our cost. So I would highly recommend this new, and if you can, I would highly recommend taking advantage of some of these ways so that you can get the snoo at a cheaper price or maybe even free. So I'll have a link to the snoo in the description box below so you can check Check it out if you want and also I want to let you guys know that I have a course called budgeting for baby if you are an expecting parent then you can check out my course in this course I talk all about how you can budget save and plan your finances for this really exciting time of life so I will have a link to my budgeting for baby course in the description box down below so you can check it out there and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll look forward to seeing you guys in the next one